Hello everyone, let's create Hello World project using Flutter in this video. Without delay, let's get started. So here I am on the Flutter website and in this website, just click on get started and you need to select whichever the platform which you are using. If you are on Windows, select Windows. If you are on Mac, select this and Linux, you guys know how to use it. So click on Windows, I am on Windows and there are some system requirements and you can get the Flutter SDK, just download it. Once that's done, after that you can follow whatever the instructions here are you just have to create a, a path and all which is like step by step instructions and then it will also tell you to install android studio which is also easily available and you can just download it and uh, after that uh, you can set up android uh, device and all these things and if you are facing any kind of problem to do this particular thing and uh, if you just follow whatever the instructions are given you can do it just in case if you are not able to understand all these instructions and not able to follow or if you get some kind of error just let me know in the comment section and i'll surely make one video on that but uh, it's very easy instruction to follow so i guess you can do it and uh, another thing is uh, we'll be coding everything using uh, vs code so just go ahead and download this and install this also so without delay let's go to file explorer and create our uh, first project uh, using flutter that would be hello world project and creating it is very easy just open up uh, terminal in your uh, folder uh, wherever you want to create create the flutter project and uh, you just need to run flutter create and hello world would be my project name and the moment you type this particular thing it will try to download the flutter application and it's going to give you the application just make sure you followed all the instructions of installation and all. then this command will work if it is not working just put it in the comment section and i'll surely make a video about installation after this it's going to give you some instructions how you can run it but we're just going to open up that particular folder in vs code but in command line only let me show you some items and opening it in vs code is very easy just open up the vs code which you installed and after that just drag this particular folder here and it's opened up it's going to ask that permission yes sir i trust the author that's me only so once this is opened up you can go here and you can search for something called as flutter and uh, once you search this uh, you can just install this particular flutter uh, widget uh, and uh, it is very useful for us to use uh, this particular thing uh, in our project and once it's installed uh, you will get something like this in the bottom uh, which if you already connected the phone uh, you can use that particular thing uh, else you can click on uh, create android emulator i'm going to start my pixel emulator and it started now and i can i'll just make sure uh, it's visible properly so let me just keep the screen fine and once this is done uh, let me go to this particular file uh, named lib uh, and uh, open this up uh, and okay once you are on this main dot dot file uh, you can just click on this particular icon uh, which is going to run whatever the project they gave in the demo in this particular emulator and let me go back to this particular thing only and as you can see it is uh, running gradle task assemble debug and in a while it is going to load uh, the application in the emulator and it opened up uh, the application in the end uh, it's trying to install the apk it took a while in my system uh, because i'm recording the video also but in yours it might be a little bit faster depending upon your system speed i'll just click on x mark here so that uh, it won't uh, disturb me so here is default application using flutter and uh, what we'll do is uh, we are going to just remove this particular comment here uh, and uh, whatever the line which says that class my home page uh, we'll just go ahead and remove everything uh, and in this particular place uh, which is giving the error uh, saying my home page is not found uh, we are going to remove this uh, and uh, we are going to just place one widget named uh, text uh, which is going to say hello world if i just save it it's going to give some weird hello world in here we don't want that and let me remove this particular widget which says just hello world and let me put one another widget named scaffold and it's going to give a suggestion and i'll try to click on third one and scaffold will take one parameter named body and in this particular body let me just put this particular text saying hello world and once i save it you can see hello world printed at the top of the screen that's not something which you want to do so what i can do is i can add something called as 
app bar app bar can take another widget called app bar which actually come from material widget and it will contain something called as title and in this in this title we can use just normal text and in here i can write hello project once we save it it's going to give one nice app bar named hello world which you can change it and if you see all this uh, underscore line uh, which is uh, giving us uh, it's going to say that uh, use const word uh, in the constructor to improve the performance so let me just go here and type const and that's going to remove the error and once this is done uh, let me just try to place this particular hello world in the middle uh, and increase the size of the text so in order to do that uh, i can just uh, select this particular text uh, and right click uh, and here I can go and refactor this particular thing and and wrap with the center. And once I click center, if I save it, it's going to make it center. I can just remove this particular const and I can put it in the beginning of this line so that uh, we won't get any error for a center widget also. And uh, once this is done, it's always the best practice to put comma after all the brackets so that uh, we can get a little bit proper formatting. In order to increase the size of this particular hello world uh, text i can go here and i can type a style and style will take something called as text style it's it just suggested me here only and it can take a font size and i can change it to maybe 25 so that the text will be a little bit bigger i can even change it to 55 maybe yeah it's going to be even bigger that's better and another thing is uh, we can go here and uh, inside this particular scaffold widget only it's going to give us nice comment saying it's the scaffold and now what we can do is uh, inside this particular scaffold only which is very nicely highlighted using that flutter plugin uh, saying this is scaffold uh, we can go inside this uh, and uh, here we can type something called as floating action button and uh, floating action button also will take uh, another floating action button from our uh, material widget uh, and in this uh, the required parameter is uh, on pressed uh, which will just keep one function uh, which is, will be empty and after this particular thing is done uh, we can uh, give this particular thing also child uh, and this child can take uh, something called as icon uh, and icon will be icons dot uh, add uh, probably and if i just save it it's going to give us nice plus add button which if you want we can code to open up another page or something like that that i won't be showing in this particular video but as usual you can put a const here so that it won't give the error and uh, that's it it's very easy to build one simple hello world project using flutter and that's it for this video guys and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and see you in the next video Bye bye